So Matt, we are here in Louisville, Kentucky, and we are ready for date number three with Jade. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? I'm ready. I'm ready. I today's been a good day. I, I woke we I woke up at the Airbnb and went to uh, went to a little coffee shop down the road. That was cool. And I already kind of like virtually met her because we had a news interview together, which was pretty cool. So like I got on the news interview and so did she. It was like a little radio talk show this morning, and uh, they were asking us both questions. So we virtually like kind of met and everything, which was which was cool. But she seems like a very sweet gal, and she should be here like any minute. And I'm I'm excited for a fun filled day. Tell me a little bit about uh, what you guys are going to be doing. A little drinking, but just get no, it's the bourbon, the bourbon capital of the U.S., I think. I, I could be butchering that. We're going to go to a bourbon distillery and do like a bourbon tour, which is going to be fun. And then we're going to go to the batting cages. I mean, Louisville Slugger, baseball bigs here. So I'm going to go to the batting cages, hit some balls, then have dinner and some ice cream. That's, that's the day. Let's go meet Jade. Let's do it. Jade Saylor and I'm from right outside of Lexington, Kentucky. Are you ready to go on a date with Matt from 50 Days, 50 States? Oh my gosh, yes, of course. It's a perfect day. Weather's beautiful. It's a little windy, obviously, but I'm so excited. All right, let's go meet Matt. Let's go. Oh, what's up? Hi. How are you, Jade? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. What do you What do you got? In... This is for you. This is for me. Oh my I gosh. I didn't know what you liked, so this I just is... threw a little bit this... of everything <laughs> this in, is and then nuts. now you'll always have a piece of Kentucky with you. All right, <laughs> UK. This is dope. Oh yeah, my don't gosh. wear that around here. They're, it... they're not a fan oh, of yeah, that in Louisville. Oh yeah, because Louisville. Louisville. Yeah. Wait, is it? It's Louisville. Louisville. I keep saying. I keep saying Louisville. Louisville. I keep. I keep that's saying Louisville. Cardinal sin around here, so don't do that. Okay. Okay. I got you. Oh, that's so nice of you. You're that was very nice of you. How was it? Like an hour and a half drive? Yeah, it wasn't bad. I got you. And did you get? Uh, so you got work off today and everything? Mm -hmm. you... Yeah, I requested off like last week. I was like, I kind of need it. Like, yeah. no exceptions. Is but um, if it would have been February, we're not allowed to take any days off in February because gotcha. it's like this thing called sweeps. There's four months out of the year we can't take any days off. Okay. So you nailed it right on the first day that we're allowed okay. to take back yeah. off. Oh, look at that. It worked you out. Got okay. That, is this the first news place you've worked at? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just graduated in May. Yeah, so are you 22? 23. 23. Okay. Yeah, I'm ancient. <laughs> ancient? I'm 25. <laughs> uh, that makes me feel like an old grandpa. <laughs> so this is my first job out of college. I'm still adjusting. I feel like the period between college and like the real world is Absolutely. I'm still like trying to figure out a balance, that balance. between the two <laughs> like yes. work friends yes. are like between 22 and 30 years old so we're all kind of just like in this together and there are nights where we'll just like get together and it's like 4 a.m and then we've got like a morning anchor that has to be on tv at 4 a.m so we're all just oh, <laughs> struggling through it together so it is that sucks. Well, I feel like, yeah, I feel like if you're with coworkers that are all like fun or mm -hmm. like similar in age, you said everybody's like in their like young 20s to 30s. At least like the reporters are, yeah. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Makes See that? it so much better. Right, yeah. That, oh, 100%. It's yeah. nice because I was worried about like what job I would get because yeah. a lot of news people are like older. So I was oh, like, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to work with like 40, 50 year old people yeah. as 23 year olds. So it's nice like a starter market. Yeah. They're all pretty young. Do you see yourself like being in Kentucky doing this? Bounce see, it's too? crazy because I always said I would never move back to Kentucky. Okay. Oh, um, that's right. Because where do you... Uh... I went to Alabama. Oh, you went to Alabama? You didn't know that? I feel like I, I when I talked to you on the phone, I mean, I, I can't remember. Already getting me mixed up with all the other <laughs> no, girls. No. Is, uh, maybe I should leave. <laughs> oh, man. No. Oh, I okay. left after graduation oh, and moved back. Oh, oh, See, gotcha. I thought about staying, and then that's when I was like, I'm going to be stuck in this college mindset yeah. with my college friends, and I'll yeah. never be productive or professional. So I was like, I need to get out. So yeah. I started applying to like different states, and then actually the Kentucky offer ended up being the best. I used to go to Eastern Kentucky. Oh, geez. Did mm -hmm. you, you change your major, major a bunch? Mm hmm. What, did you, what was your first? What Physical your first therapy, because that's what my mom does. Okay. I okay. failed biology right out of the gate, and I was like, this is not for me. So then I tried education, because my dad's a teacher. Uh -huh. You know how you just like follow your parents? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. So yeah, that's yeah. what I was trying to do, I guess. And then I actually got a DM on Twitter, and this guy was like, if you're not going to the sports media, like, you're missing your calling. 
And he was from Bama, and I'm, I was obsessed with Alabama since yeah. I was a kid because yeah. my dad. He took me to my first game when I was like three. It was a game nice. from then, maybe a little bit older. That's when I decided to transfer. Um, it was a really like off the wind move. It was the Iron Bowl. Okay. Which is the end of November. Okay. I went down there for the game, and uh -huh. I texted my mom like as a joke, and I said, "I know I say this every time I come down here, but I'm transferring." And she was okay. like, "I think you should do it. Like you're gonna regret it." So I came home and I put the application in. I got accepted December 10th, and I packed my bags and moved Dang. in January. All right, that's pretty spontaneous. So that's, that's how I got there. And then I was sitting in orientation for education still, and I was like, "This is not it." And now I'm doing what I'm Absolutely. doing. Absolutely. So oh. we're gonna hit up the uh, the bourbon distillery. Yeah. Let's tour. Do it. You want to do that? Get it. You ready? Yeah. Um, have you ever, have you been, you've probably been to a bunch of these. Mm -mm. You've never, been, have you ever been to one? No. Really? I'm like a fake Kentuckian. A fake Kentuckian? I've never even is that what you drank call, bourbon. Is that, you've never drank never, bourbon? Never once in my life. What? <laughs> no. What do you, no. <laughs> what? Oh, this is nuts. Okay. Yeah, this is that's what be. I'm saying. Like, uh, this is all new for me too. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, sweet. Let's get it. Don't let me put the directions in, we won't get there. Yeah, where did you park? Over there? In the front. Oh, wow, Makes the sense. car. I got a car wash today, too, which made it... Oh, I try. I tried my best. Do they ever... Are you ever worried that it's going to come off in a car wash? Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I, I, Sometimes I, they can be rough. Yeah, I handheld it. Because oh, okay. I can't go through ones with brushes. Right. So. Okay, cool. I tried my best. I like the car. Hey, thank you. We are boxed in. Yeah, we are. We are absolutely boxed in. Thanks for opening the door. Good Very gentleman-like. Oh, I'm gonna try. Try to be a, the biggest Romeo I can. We are going to be late. Like I said, I'm a fake Kentuckian. No bourbon, fake, no derby. Like, fake Kentuckian, she says. I am. I think I turn here. Yeah, I wish I could help, but I truly have about as much clue as you do driving oh, around here. Oh, I totally turned on the wrong tree. Nice. We've got to be like close. Look at all these bourbon district banners. Maybe it's just because where we are. I hope they are not too uh, strict. Strict <laughs> on time. Only one way to find out. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I always like to say with this thing, like no matter the ups and downs, even if it's a down, always try to try the best to make it an up. Yep. So, like, it's like those TikToks where they say, like, if something goes wrong, it's part of the plot. Like, yeah, yeah, like right. Like, your life is a movie. Yeah, right, exactly. Which yours kind of is. I'm rubbing off on you too soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Like, where are we supposed to park? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I really like Louisville. Lu Lu Louisville. Just Louisville. think of it as, like... It's so hard for me to... It's yeah, like a habit. I don't even know how to put it into perspective, but people here get really offended over it. Oh, I gotcha. Well, I'll try to do my best. Here it is. Oh, there well, it we is. were, we were, that makes sense. We are, we were running a little behind. We, were, we didn't, uh, we're not from, well, I'm not from here, so we we're trying to figure out where to go. Awesome, totally fine. Cool. Oh, absolutely, yes. This is Pauline. She's going to be your tour guide. Hi, Hi, Matt. Nice to meet you, Pauline. Nice to meet you. Uh, this is how I like the, the tour to start, like this. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm it looks about. good. Fantastic. Okay, Thank you. Great. I think I could look at a Kentucky ID and know where the truck is, and yeah. I still get confused. Thank you Perfect. so much. We've got old-fashioned here for each of you guys. Awesome. Thank oh, you. We've got beautiful. our cocaine, pill bourbon, demerara syrup, and some Angostura bitters in there. Sweet. Okay. Love nice that. Take it right here. Oh, nice. <laughs> how are you guys? Good. An old fashioned? Have you ever I had an old fashioned? Take, I told you I've never drank bourbon. Well, I'm okay, such okay, a vodka okay. girl or like oh, tequila, oh, which I know I've seen your TikToks, you're not a fan of tequila. Well, I've gotten into a little more. Okay. Little more. Progress? Did you try this? Yeah, it's what, what, what do you think? What it's do you think? It's pretty good. It's like strong. Oh, it's very, yeah, that's all old fashioned. <laughs> she's, she's never had bourbon or anything. Never. And I'm from here. All right, so this first stop here is our bottling line. So this is our only bottling line. So any rock hole you've ever seen anywhere uh, has come out of this one room. Wild. I know. Especially for you who have never, never <laughs> had it. You're like, what? You're getting a real lesson on it. So just sit back and turn on the bottling line. This is our only barrel. We fill every barrel one at a time. Time to time. So, so you pound them. <laughs> We've lost a piece of equipment. <laughs> 
I'm like so impressed with how much she remembers oh, about right? all this. Like, That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. There's like so much to it. Look at these things. I know. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's not good. What are this? This is so cute. This is, this is baller. Look at that. Wouldn't it be so sweet if you had something like this in your house? No, like, right? Like, like your own little like, like own little bar with like a view? That'd be so That'd be sick. So Open is going to help cut down on those alcohol bakes. It's also going to bring right. the aromas of your full palate instead of settling them all in your nose. If you think about it, you're <laughs> Did not taste as bad. I, I like really, really want this to be like the next Bachelor, and everybody like starts somewhere, and it's not going to happen tomorrow, right? I think nothing's really challenged the Bachelor, and That's true. I think like if I can come in and I can do something where it involves somebody from each state, and like it builds a lot of chatter, and it involves like a lot of people, and it's like word of mouth, and it's just I don't know. I think there's a lot more involvement instead mm -hmm. of the Bachelor going, oh. I'll grab a couple girls from LA and uh -huh. you know some gals from New York and a girl from Florida and Miami. It's just like it's very selective, and so if I'm able to grab someone from all 50 states, and it doesn't, and like for me, I'm this is my last season of me doing it. I saw, yeah, I you heard know, you say that this yeah, morning. Yeah. yeah, and so like if I can get a guy or a girl to do it, and it just like season after season changes, I like think I that'd just, be so cool. yeah, and so I really want to build it and hopefully eventually sell it to like a. Netflix or a Hulu or an HBO. I was going to say, would you want to host it though? Like be the Chris Harrison to. of the. I would love to. That would be that, so. That would, that I think would be, you'd be really good at it oh, too. Thank, thank you. So that would you still travel to like all the 50 states in the show, or like yeah, have I, them all come to one place? I'd probably say I'll travel everywhere because be, I yeah. think that's a huge aspect I to do it. Too, yeah. You know, um, and so, you know, it's almost like you combine Miss America and The Bachelor, a little bit, and it's like I don't know. For me, everybody has like. Everybody has a lot of state pride where yeah. they're from. And it's like, even if it's very subtle. Yeah. And so if this got to be a big thing, people could be like, oh, you know, like, oh, Jade, like, I played I played against her in volleyball in high school. You know, whatever. It could be Do like I the I look like a volleyball player? <laughs> I'm back one. What, uh, what time do we got? Oh, it has to be. Oh, we should probably want to head to the batting cage. Let's go. Let's do it. I let all of my dates have the privilege of having ox. ox because I need to know music taste. This could, uh, this, could this could make or break. I could okay, well, I, I could ask you to like, leave the vehicle now. What kind of music you'd like? Because I um, um, no. don't have a preference. You pick whatever your little heart desires, and well, I guess I like, like I said, there's a lot of judgment right now. This could this could be like wow. You I don't think so, but I'm ready do for it. Do you listen to rap? I, I do, but okay, 100 Shots, Young Dolph. R.I.P. I've never heard of Young Dolph in my life. Yeah. Wow, I don't even know where I'm going. Uh, you didn't put it in here. I did not, no, I was I was bumping to 100 Shots. He basically lives um, here now, he you know. <laughs> yeah, gotta love that. You really are just like me. <laughs> yeah. Oak. How do you spell it? O K O. O K O. O M A. Oklahoma indoor batting cages. I think it's like. I think it's indoor hitting and pitching facility. Let's go. My initial thoughts about Matt is he's very genuine and sweet and fun, easy to talk to. There's never been like an awkward moment or like a dead silence of conversation. It's just kind of been flowing the whole time very naturally, which is honestly what I expected from him. Just I could kind of see his personality like through social media. So I kind of knew we were going to get along like this. So I have nothing bad to say. All good things about Matt. The dates have been super fun so far. I mean, we met at the house and then got to know each other a little bit, had a little bit of a talk, and then went to the bourbon distillery. Super fun. We learned a lot of interesting things that I would have never known about bourbon being from Kentucky. I had never even drank bourbon, which is kind of like a sin here, I think so. But we learned a lot of things that I would have never known about it. And we got to try a lot of different flavors and different like brands, or I guess it was the same brand, but different 
bottles. Um, and they were all pretty good, so that was fun. We got to kind of let loose and like have a good conversation and drink some shots and stuff like that. So, so far everything's been going good. Hopefully we will not get injured here at the batting cage, but I've had a lot of fun so far. These freaking things, <laughs> dude, mine's like tight. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Dude. Looks solid. Oh. Not that one. It's right. Sounds good. What do you think? I think a couple practice swings. Are you gonna teach me how? <laughs> if you You're a great teacher. As far as you should. Like a lunch. Like yeah, like a little like a nice little lunch. And then and then when it's and then when it's coming, you know, you could have it up here, you could have it down here, whatever you want to do. And then when it's coming. Can you take my leg up like that? Right. So you stand yeah. here. Is that yeah, yeah. Well let's so. see what you got. Let go. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh, what is that? That's a ball, man. Oh, shoot. Wow, that was nice. Bunt. <laughs> he was going for it. <laughs> I'm impressed. I. You've won me over. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. Am I supposed to watch the bat? No, that was not what? me. <laughs> Where was the effort? <laughs> that was that was close. I tried on that. It was one. close. <laughs> it's getting there. It's a little more centered than I thought it would be. <laughs> I'm really, really bad at this. You got this. I give up. Is that it? I think so. <laughs> are you embarrassed? Oh, 0 for 15, man. I don't know. What are you gonna do about me? <laughs> you wanna go grab some food? Let's go. It. Might be better at eating than baseball. <laughs> <laughs> better at eating than baseball. Go for it. That's hilarious. How's the day going so far? Jade, what are your thoughts? It's going good, man. She's 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 adorable. She's a sweetheart, and she's like very uh, very professional, like well spoken. Uh, that's like the first. I mean. That was the first thing that caught me about her was she's very well spoken. I mean, from the interview this morning, obviously she's a news reporter, so it makes sense, go two and two together. But um, she asks like really good questions and she's very personable. She can hold a conversation. I feel like that's been the most, uh, that's been the thing that stood out the most about her so far. And I'm having a good time. Are you intimidated at all that she's in as comfortable in front of the camera as you are? <laughs> no, 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 I prefer my dates. I, I like it when my dates are comfortable in front of the camera because then they're not like intimidated or they're not shy or they're not like trying to put on this persona or, you know, this fake image. And she's very authentic to who she is. It's natural for her. Well, I'm country, country all the time. Yes, I was raised in the fields of hay between the Mason Dixon lines. You can hunt me down 20 years from now. By me and the pines Cause I'm country Country all the time You take me to a party For the face of my Marathi's old man They're getting it Yeah <laughs> We're all the way <laughs> to the back of me And not they are. on the what silver tree But I'd rather see a rodeo Or jump into a swimming hole behind the house Cause I'm country Country all the time Okay, now we turn Cool. If I can grab one. <laughs> there we go. Oh. <laughs> Never mind then. Are we choosing? Oh, yeah. I that was going to ask, like, what do your parents think about you doing this? <laughs> they, they were a lot more skeptical my first time around. They were, like, they were pretty... Uh, I'm sure they were. I can't they, imagine. They had some pushback when I... Uh, when I first was like, hey, I'm gonna quit my full-time job <laughs> out of college uh, to travel and go on dates, you know, in the middle of a pandemic. Isn't that every were, parent's like dream? And I'll never forget that conversation. Cause I was like, I was like kind of nervous, but like in my in my head, I'm like, like I don't care if they, I'm like, are you kidding? Like they were, I don't care if they were super mad, if they were super supportive, I'm like, I'm doing, doing it regardless. It, yeah. You know, like I, my mind was made up like with this pandemic, they were like really worried about it because it was like when yeah. I left the first season, it was January 2021 mm -hmm. and like the vaccine wasn't out, oh, yeah. like there wasn't any of that stuff and it was just like, it was still heightened but I guess for me, I was like, you know what, like <laughs> I, I got to heightened. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the juice, yeah, whatever I'm just trying to say. But it just like, I mean that, I, 
I didn't have any like choice. Like I, mm -hmm. if I, if I would have waited, it would have died. Yeah, so that's I the had, thing about stuff like that. Yeah. Like when it's when it's hot, you gotta exactly. <laughs> and so I could. Were you okay, doing something? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right, right, that's right, right that's right. Um, but I think they became more relaxed once they saw I was prepared. Because mm -hmm. they, I think initially they thought I was just like, oh, I'm going to quit, like, I'm, I'm having fun on TikTok and making videos, and I'm going to go travel now. And they were like, what are you doing? <laughs> but then, like, they, every question they asked, I had an answer to. That's good. And they were like, well, what are you going to do about laundry? What are you going to do about money? What are you going to do about Not driving? Laundry. Like, like well, well they, they asked those things. Like, they asked everything. They're like, well, what do you, you know, they just asked all these things, and I had an answer for everything. And, and they were just like, Okay. They like they just didn't really like. What they, are they gonna do at yeah, that point? Yeah, they were just like, well, I guess you know you thought it through type thing. My mom said this comment the other day though, it was funny. Or she saw a TikTok of mine. That's what it was. She saw a TikTok of mine, and I talked to her on the phone later. She's like, you know, I saw this TikTok of yours where she's like, sometimes, sometimes I just wish I had a normal son. <laughs> Ruthless. <laughs> But it was like it was like in like yeah. it, was, it was in a friendly gesture. I mean, I not like, everyone can say their son is going on a date with every girl in Fifty Six yeah. twice. Yeah, I'm like, hey, <laughs> you know, just once, but twice. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, hey, they know this is like normal for me now. One, back, two, <laughs> back, three. Do we just go? Uh, no, no. But then you put your arm there. Yep. Let go of that one and grab that. I'm gonna spin you and grab that. Spin, boom, one move down. Okay. And you go again, ready, one, I'm gonna get two, dizzy. three, we'll go, last one, here we go. Grab my hand here, behind, this is a fun one. Wait, grab it, hold on, uh, there we go. Okay, ready, now spin, stay there, stay there, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, look at that, back and twirl. Oh, a natural, a natural. You're doing great, sweetie. I am. <laughs> Just wrapped up my third date in season two here in Kentucky with Jade. Had so much fun today. We uh, we went to the bourbon distillery, to the batting cages. Just wrapped up a dinner, and uh, since bourbon whiskey's a big here, big thing here in Kentucky, we're gonna take some shooters. You ready? I think so. All right. Cheers. Oh. Come on. Wow. Oh. Oh. No, I'm yeah. putting on a face. It was strong. That was extremely strong. I told her before we did that, I said, you know, we can just take a little bit. She's like, oh no, we're taking the whole thing. Got you. <laughs> but I, I had a lot of fun and I hope you had fun today. Too. I had a great time. Thank yeah. you for taking me. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Now off to state four, date four in Tennessee.